Greetings! Welcome to the devlog for update 64 of Hot Dogs, Horseshoes, and Hand Grenades. We're going to start off as always with a quick sound check. Make sure your speakers aren't up too high. <laughs> Wonderful. So what have we got for you this week? Well, it is a very special day today in that it is the beginning, or rather the uh, afternoon before, the beginning of our Meat Miss holiday season. And with it, a new scene has arrived. Throw that over there. Not even close to the trash can. Moving on, we've got the Meat Miss Kappa Coliseum. This mighty <laughs> construct of stone and meat uh, and some fun games and some fun toys to go with it that are going to be part of our Meat Miss festivities this month. So let's take a look at our, our, our new toys and our new modes first, and then afterwards I will talk about what's going to be coming over the course of the rest of the month. So, along with our, uh, our theme of our sort of gladiatorial arena, I decided it would be fun to throw in some Roman or Roman-ish equipment. We've got, uh, for melee weapons, we've got a, uh, a Gladius, which was actually requested quite a... Uh, ways ago. We've got a uh, Scutum, I think I'm pronouncing that right, which is uh, quite a sizable uh, shield. Not very uh, bulletproof considering it's uh, made of wood, but great for melee combat, and it fits in your backpack slot. You can see it if I tip my HMD down like that. Beautiful. So, and then, of course, to go with it, which has become my new favorite toy and is why my right arm hurts so much right now, uh, is a, uh, a pylum, which if we put in a shoulder slot here, you can see it right there, spawn lock it, we can grab them out and throw them similar to throwing stars. They despawn when they're spawn locked uh, after a, a few seconds. And you'll notice as I throw this, I'm both getting a really nice speed boost with it and it ends up pointing in the direction of travel, which allows you to get quite a bit of distance off of them. It's a little challenging to throw them accurately. It takes a while to get used to getting a consistent throw with them but uh, they're just a blast to, uh, to use. So let's take a look at what our, let's, uh, let's put our equipment down here for a moment and take a look at what our hungry games are. We've got three game modes to start and we've got uh, three more coming on the 7th, the uh, 14th and the 21st. The first one is for those of you who want a game mode that isn't about things trying to kill you. It's called Target Relay, which I'm gonna actually Go ahead and get myself some equipment for. So the way that target relay works is that they are sequences of targets at various sorts of waypoints. There's 10 possible places that a target can spawn and targets will spawn at five of them. So there's a little bit of randomization, but the sequence is otherwise fixed. So you can get used to the points that you have to traverse between sort of optimize your route. Um, and you are scored based on a combination of uh, do, 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 of uh, accuracy and, uh, and speed. I'm gonna turn my uh, music off because we're going to save that for uh, one of our uh, more combat-y things. We're going to pick uh, target relay sprint. Basically the difference between these three modes is a combination of length and difficulty. Sprint is pretty fast. It's five waypoints with five targets each. Jog is 10. Marathon is 20. Um, and then we'll get to our other modes in a minute. So let's go ahead and begin this. Let's see, we are ready to rock. All right. So in shooting our candy targets. Oh, and five. Beautiful. Run up here. Of course, doing this in a way that doesn't embarrass myself, seeing as I'm filming, and I always do worse at everything while I'm filming. Oh, fifth one's up here. Where's our fifth? Come over here, uh, and five. Come on. Oh, it's giving me, there we go. And we gotta take a jog over here for the fifth. Oh, we fell down, no! 
our time. And crap, where's the fifth? There it is. Ooh. And we've completed our sequence. After a couple seconds, it'll warp us back. So we're back here. Let's take a look. Base score 2500, time bonus 1015. Oh, and I didn't get a good, you know what? Accuracy bonus shouldn't be zero. Probably still have a code bug. I'm still fixing a little bit of this before uh, pushing the uh, build tonight. I will take a look and figure out what went wrong there. So, so that's our kind of mode for if you just want a fun sort of like run and gun target mode. The next mode that we have, which I'm going to bring myself something a little more, uh, a little more powerful, I think. Let's see, what do I want to use? You know what? Let's use something ridiculous. So let's use, um, let's use one of our uh, <laughs> new uh, H51s that we added last week. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Do I want anything else for it or do I? Nah, we'll just use irons. So pop you there, pop you there. We'll turn our incredible music that, uh, that, that Joe made for this that I am just having so much fun with. And so this next mode is called Assault and Pepper. Uh, it is uh, similar, we're, we're gonna be progressing between waypoints just like we were in Target Relay, except that each one has a small spawner target we have to destroy and spawns enemies that shoot at us of increasing difficulty as we move through the sequence. In Skirmish, it's five points and only one of them is active at once, which means that you're not really gonna be getting sort of flanked or anything like that. You're mainly gonna be coming straight at uh, the, uh, the so six that are fighting you. In Brawl, two of them are active at once, and it's ten points long. In Maelstrom, three are active at once, and three are active, um, yeah, three are active at once, and it's twenty long. So it is quite a slog, quite difficult. Um, so yeah, so let's rock that over there. Get ready to go. Don't embarrass ourselves. Okay, a salt and pepper skirmish. Our music's on. Let's do this. Doesn't see us. I love it. Just a second. It's around here somewhere. Blue plate special. Also, be careful. There are there are civvy wieners about. They're just like. Meet Miss Elves. You don't want to shoot them. Look at him go! That's our next one. Watch out there, Civvy Wiener. No, it's okay, not this way. Took my flashlight. Ah, it's over there. Where are they? Oh!
drive this out. Oh no! There we go. It's like so inaccurate. I love it. completed our sequence. As I said, the first one is real short. In a way, it's almost like a tutorial. It's not meant to be super challenging. <sighs> and you get scored on a bunch of different things. We've got a base score, a time score, a style bonus that is uh, basically related to uh, how many headshots you get, how many other ways that you, uh, that you bring them down. So it's a little fuzzy. This isn't a hyper competitive set of modes it's not super balanced it's primarily designed to just be a fun space for you to uh sort of halfway in between the structure of a scored mode and something like the proving grounds whoo anton is out of shape so just to further exhaust ourselves let's remove all of our ranged equipment and prepare for our other mode let's put that in our backpack Still got my pylums in my shoulder. We'll grab ourselves some sweet, sweet melee weapons. We have meat and metal, which functions the same way as a salt and pepper does, and that we're moving from place to place and fighting, except we're not doing it with ranged weapons. We're fighting meat mist gladiators. So let's click Neo Fight for meat and metal, and let's exhaust ourselves further. Pull that out. Pull a pile them out. Better stay out of the way there, Sibby Wiener. Doesn't see us. Ugh. I'm terrible at this. No! Here I come. Haha! -ha. I'm learning! Let's do this. Ugh. Off with his head. Uh. Oh, no, behind me. Off with his head as well. That's a civvy. Pull out our shield. There we go. Hit the gas. Wait, I leave the gas on? Real tiring standing at a tent. Stay down. It's not down yet. There we go. Well, we got some medium ones now. Prepare to meet your maker. Well, heavier armor. Oh no! They got me, which is fine though, because I respawn. All it costs you is time. Point. It's over here. Ah, there. Pull our pile them out. Oh, All you can eat. Let's hit his armor. Oh. Whew. 
certainly a workout. Oh, we're good on health. Small pig here, buddy. Ugh. Special order. Ugh. Blue plate special. Meat and potatoes. Now to point five. Let's do this. Let's see if we can get one good pylum hit. Double meat. Ah. I'm terrible at it. Jumbo size. Oh, getting low on health. And there we go. Whew! That is a thoroughly out of breath Anton. See how we did. Ah, all right for the star bonus. So there we have it. Whew, my goodness. Well, now that we've taken a look at those modes, let's jump out of VR and talk about the other super special thing I know a ton of you have been waiting for, for this meat miss. Yo! So we're out of VR, and I have recovered uh, from that. I've been testing it all morning, so I've just wiped out, um, but incredibly excited. So as I mentioned, beyond the, uh, the Kappa Coliseum, we have the return of uh, something very special, which I know tons of you enjoyed, the very first Meat Miss we had for this game, which is that we have the Meat Miss Holiday Advent Calendar returning to the snow globe scene, starting well, for some of you, very late tonight, but for most of you, early in the morning. Basically from December 1st through December 24th, um, every single day, basically right at like 1 or 2 in the morning before I go to bed, um, a, a new advent calendar box will be added to the snow globe hidden somewhere that will have a new toy in it. So that's right, there's going to be 25 uh, little updates over the course of the month, culminating in Meet Miss Day on the 25th. Um, so I don't have the first one in yet for tonight's update uh, at 7 p.m. Uh, PST. That's just the Kappa Coliseum. But then basically like, I don't know, six-ish hours later, there will be another small update which will uh, pop the first of those into the scene. So for those of you who have H3, uh, there's going to be uh, something special and fun each day uh, this month for you to log in and play with. And, uh, and that's one of the reasons why I actually wanted to do the uh, the Kappa Coliseum, is I wanted a sort of a fun, goofy, buoyant, sort of action-y space uh, for you to take the new toy each day into and uh, put it through its paces beyond just, uh, you know, sitting there and shooting away in the indoor range like I do. So yeah, so that is, uh, that's what's going on. That is the insane marathon that I'm about to start. I'm going to be doing um, probably a little video a day, which you won't want to click. If you don't want spoilers, um, I wouldn't click on it uh, each day. I'm not going to be putting what the, the toy is in the name of the video or in the thumbnail of the the video so it shouldn't be spoiled for you. I'll be posting them to the subreddit but as a comment inside the post so once again I don't want spoilers I know some of you are going to be away for certain parts of the month or some of you won't be able to check it out until the evening um, so make sure if you're posting anywhere like the subreddit the steam community etc about 
the thing. Do not put the name of what the item is. I will just blam the post away. Just put like day three thing or like, oh, I really like day four's thing or like, ta you know, conversation about whatever, just that we don't spoil anything for the folks who have schedules that that alter uh, when they can try out the new toys. So try to uh, just just as you're enjoying things, try to, uh, yeah, to make sure that others can be as surprised as you were. So that about does it. For uh, today's devlog, I actually have to get back, uh, jump back in and fix a couple bugs in regards to scoring for those modes. And uh, yeah, and so we're just, we're, I'm going to be streaming a ton as well this month, so uh, make sure to check that out. Also, we uh, to to coordinate for those of you who are still looking for some uh, meat missy gifts, we have just updated our merch store, which the link is down in the description here and on the Reddit post uh, and such, uh, with a whole bunch more sort of H3 themed goodies. We've got some more clothing. We've got some tippy toy mugs that uh, that look fantastic. Uh, screams and or mooing not included uh, with them. And a couple meat miss ornaments. So take a look at them. Whew, well that about does it. I'm going to jump off and get right back to work. I hope you all have a, uh, a wonderful evening. I'll be seeing you all very soon again as we kick off this merry month of meat, meat miss. <laughs> have a uh, wonderful evening. Peace.